Hey everyone, Josh from Predatory Plants here with another installment of our Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about Nepenthes Maxima Dark. Uh, it's a specific clone that we've designated here in the greenhouse as Nepenthes Maiden. It is a female. We've successfully bred it with several other plants and have some really interesting hybrids coming out with this plant. Nepenthes Maxima is a, a very interesting species of Nepenthes. It has an extremely wide range across Southeast Asia and it's highly, highly variable. There are a lot of Maxima that you wouldn't even recognize next to this one as being the same species. Uh, so we might even consider this a specimen spotlight rather than a species spotlight. I am planning to do another video uh, showing and discussing all of the differences between the various Maxima specimens that we have here at Predatory Plants and then you have to understand that there's several more that we don't even have here uh, and variation within even those groups. So it's a very complicated kind of situation but today we're going to talk about Maiden. You can see right here it is a relatively big plant. It is absolutely beautiful. The pictures have incredible coloration, very speckled, very developed peristomes with this deep rich red color beautiful undersides of their lids with big nectar appendages here. This is a slightly older pitcher, so it's a bit smaller. This one formed kind of in winter this year, so it's just a bit more stunted, but still very, very beautiful. They get a lot darker with age. Coming around here, we have another even newer pitcher that just opened up. The peristome is still rolling back here on this plant. And a new one that's, that's in the process. This should be an even bigger one. It'll be opening up mid-summer, which is kind of when you get the biggest Nepenthes because it's the warmest, longest photo periods and all of that. So they have these big, beautiful paddle-shaped leaves that narrow down here at the base. A lot of rich kind of copper coloration in the leaves. And they do a basil rosette for a while, but then a very classic Maxima trait is they start vining and they make really long internodal distances. So that's one vine. We got another vine going up here. And actually you can see on this vine we have a very nice intermediate pitcher. You can tell it's intermediate because the the pitcher itself uh, faces away slightly like kind of at an angle from the vine here. But there's no curl in the tendril. Uh, it's less colorful than the lower pitchers. Um, less developed in the peristome, slightly different shape, still has wings on it, uh, pretty well developed wings on the front here. Here's another intermediate forming. And then all the way down here wrapping around, we have some lowers, or sorry, some uppers. These uppers have almost no color compared to the others, very underdeveloped wings, and they face directly away from the pitcher, and their tendrils curl and wrap around things. This is how they climb through the understory and all of the um, and make it past the understory and get up into the the areas that upper pitchers tend to grow in. Very different shape than the lowers and the intermediates. And they tend to make clusters. They're much smaller. A few inches tall. And going back to the really big beautiful basils here with its giant wings and all of that. This plant does tend to basil rather frequently. We don't have any fresh ones going here, but I do tend to pull a lot of basils off of these plants. I bought this plant in 1997 from Peter D'Amato, labeled as Nepenthes Maxima Dark, and since then it's multiplied just furiously. I have several pots about this size uh, from this original mother plant. Uh, it flowers very irregularly. I wish it flowered a bit more. I've only pulled about three flower spikes off of this thing uh, and I'm really hoping it kind of settles into more of a groove and starts flowering more regularly every year or two. But so this is Nepenthes Maiden. Again, this is Josh from Predatory Plants with a Species Spotlight. Thanks for watching.